Hello boys and girls, I'm here today to introduce to you our next art project. This project is going to come to us from the continent of Asia. And it is, I don't want to call it a hand-me-down, but it is an art form that passed from one culture to another and changed depending on which culture it passed to. And now this tradition of making these has become the cultural icon of the country of Russia. Initially, what is believed to have happened is in China, China had a tradition of making what are called stacking boxes. There are little boxes that fit one smaller and smaller and smaller, so they all fit inside of each other. And one of the reasons they did that, first of all, it was an art form. Secondly, it helped to conserve space in the Chinese home. And this would have been way back in like the 1700s, so a long time ago. Art traditionally travels from one culture to another. One culture sees something another culture is doing, or one artist sees what another artist is doing, and they try to copy, not copy, not like cheat copy, but try to create or in, take that art form and make it their own. So from China, it went to Japan. And in Japan, they started doing what are known as kokeshi dolls. And kokeshi dolls, I'll show you some examples of those here in the video. Kokeshi dolls were either made to stack, so one would fit into the other, or they were just made in the shape of kind of like, I don't know how to describe the shape, kind of a doll body with a really big head. Um, from Japan then, only about 130 years ago or so, this art form made its way to Russia, and it became the iconic Russian nesting dolls. And that is what we are going to create today. Hello boys and girls, we're getting started with our Matryoshka doll. I have a piece of paper that's eight and a half by 11 inches. Okay, it's the standard size for copier paper. So if you are using copier paper, you are all set. If you have a really large sheet of paper, cut it down. We don't want this to be a project that's gonna take you hours and hours. Okay, so I'm gonna start by folding this small sheet of paper in half the hot dog way. Okay, I'm going to use the folded side. Please make sure you're using the folded side because if you use the open side, you're going to have an issue later on down the road. So I'm going to start way up here by the top because I want to use as much of the paper as I can. And I'm going to draw the best I can almost a whole circle, but I'm going to stop right about here. Then I'm going to draw an oval or half oval and I'm going to come out a little bit further than the circle. And I'm going to stop a little bit short of the end of the paper. Right about there. When I get right about here, I'm about an inch and a half or so from the edge of the paper. I'm going to drop down a little bit. And then I'm going to go over this way with a curvy line. That's going to give me my basic shape of my, of my Russian nesting doll. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put in an area for her face, or it could be a boy as well, it's up to you. I'm going to put in a half circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my, des my design.
One thing before I do the Sharpie work is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw in my flower because I want to put a flower on her um, in addition to the other patterns. Boys and girls, once you have your Mitroyoska doll colored, please make sure that you take a video of yourself on to put it on Flipgrid to hand it in for a grade. And when you're showing it, please make sure you show it and hold it still for a few seconds so that I can capture a picture of it for my records.